Bullying, responsibility of the parent and the school. Bullying is the use of force, coercion, harmful teasing, threats, and abuse that is always dominated on the individual. There are many warning signs that are indicated that someone is affected by bullying, either being bullied or bullies themselves. Recognizing the warning signs is an important first step in taking action against bullying. Not all children who are bullied or who are being bullied ask for help. A child has a right to be educated in a clean, safe environment without any obstacles that are going to be obstructive to learning. The school has a duty of care to provide it and the parents have a duty of care to pay for the services that the school is actually rendering. First, let's examine what makes bullying such a trend? Why, why are children indulging in it? Most students that are actually enjoy bullying are actually a product of a bullying environment. It is important to understand that your environment makes 90% of your character. And when you're subjected to bullying in that environment, the tendency is that you will continue in another environment. Those are just statistics. It doesn't mean it actually applies in all cases. There are certain things that parents don't consider as bullying, and they consider it as their child standing up for their rights. So we have to look at critically, what do we understand by bullying in each and every, in each and every environment, as well as in each culture? What is the way forward? It should be no tolerance, no tolerance, zero tolerance. No child should be subjected to bullying. And we really do need to stand up and make sure that that is the case. Where's the research that there's been bullying, especially in Nigerian schools? We hardly have any cases because most parents or most children don't come out and say they're being bullied because they're still in the target environment. What does the constitution have? What does the constitution say? And it is clear that the constitution says that a child has the right to be educated and that education should be quality education. But however, our public schools and federal schools have let us down. We are seeking respite in private schools. The act of collecting school fees, um, acceptance fees, and all ridiculous penalties have driven the issue of no accountability of private schools to the government. We can't do it alone, def definitely, but we can do it together. And we don't have to wait for another child to die. And we don't have to wait to know that these children have the rights under our constitution. In my opinion, we have let these children down as citizens of Nigeria, but more so, the government has also let them down. We can look at the, noble, the notable case of the Chibok girls. What's happened? We don't know. But Sylvester now has come, and this is the situation we find ourselves. Most schools have not been monitored since inception. And in every state, there is a Department of Quality and Assurance who are supposed to monitor schools, but most of them have not had that inspection since they had inaugurated their schools years ago. What are we saying now? The monitoring team in the ministry, they've all become elephants in the room. I think um, um, very interesting very well said. comments, I mean, by Helen. But I really think that one of the things that's going on here is a case of when, you know, you build high walls and fences to mm -hmm. protect yourself mm -hmm. against intruders and then you don't care about what is the actual cause and eventually your walls get climbed upon by those people outside you. I remember many years ago while doing a lot of advocacy around issues in Lagos State and I went to the office of the then Attorney General and he said one thing, he said that He's very, very worried. This was almost about the about what's going to happen in Lagos over the next couple of years, and because those things are so. What is happening here, which is what Helen is pointing out, we have had all those schools. We've all left the public school system because mm -hmm. we felt they were not good enough. But there's been many times there've been carol cries from different angles for all of us to actually put an eye and ask questions as to mm -hmm. what exactly is going on in there. Who's advocating for teacher training? Who's pushing for standards? Mm -hmm. And so now, the private schools that 
we all ran to and paid through our nostrils mm -hmm. and felt that they were good and now letting us down. So maybe, really, you know, as Helen's advocacy is a responsibility of parents and schools, be your parents who have children in schools, responsibility of adults to say, we want the education system to actually be looked into. We want to call on the Ministry of Education across all the states. What are the standards? What are the monitoring boards? And like when Helen said about uh, QRM evaluation, monitoring evaluation, I think that, I mean, I may have a slight... I don't know because I have worked in the education space for a bit. And interestingly, yes, it does go oily after a while, but they do come to the schools. And one of the challenges that school owners have is that, of course, when they finally come, there's a lot of their other requests that come into play. Mm -hmm. And so you literally can do the Nigerian mm -hmm. angle and get away with something. Exactly. Which, which, is, which, so, yeah. uh, so, which is what I was going to say. Again. Yeah, that someone needs to monitor the monitor. Unfortunately, it's someone needs to monitor kids. the monitor. Exactly. Because if you think you don't about think it, it can cause direct death, but indirectly it causes you. death. Mm -hmm. yes. Somebody is not doing what he or she ought to do. The truth is, like I said, there are laws in place. There are mm -hmm. rules. There are. If you look at the system, there's actually a system in place. There is. Who is enforcing it? Mm -hmm. And Nobody. then who is making sure that the enforcer is enforcing it? True. So it's levels and levels of irresponsibility Across and indiscipline and corruption yeah. that is just... We need to us. enforce yes. the enforcer to yeah. enforce the rules. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. What, what, is, what is our solution? We know we have to regulate. We know we have to monitor. How? Because like, me, I'm ready with placard to start bombarding. Yeah. 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 I, I think, think we need to start. We need but to but then, but I was really, I don't know how much that is going to do. Well. No, you see, we need uh, to start holding accountable. So we need, first of all, there's, need to, there's the need for research. What is supposed mm -hmm. to obtain? Who's responsible for what? Then there's that need to ask, okay, where does the box stop? Mm -hmm. And then when you now start going, okay, say what? Look, you know that in the, any system in a society, you have the three tiers of government, you have the media, you have civil society. Mm -hmm. And the reality is that those last two arms, the informal arms of government, the media and civil society, are failing society. Because mm. at the end of the day, you need galvanized organi yeah, organized, organized movements. movements. Mm. If they're going to have chaos, they're going to have riots, and they don't, then the government comes back again to say, we're keeping the peace. So yeah. you're going to have to say, okay, so this is where it is. What are the things that they're supposed to enforce? And how do we ensure mm -hmm. that this goes on? Because well, it has to happen to We have to start making demands. We've said that we have to start demanding for accountability. Mm -hmm. Right? I believe in process as well. Mm -hmm. One yeah. of your, I mean, so that's how it starts. It starts as an echo. If you know it, it's a resounding, mm -hmm. you know, explosion that they can't mm -hmm. stop but be accountable to. So I kind of see it three ways. And I think, mm -hmm. Helen, you, you kind of touched on these things. One is the actual physical movement, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Two is that you actually have to come up with sincere regulation. Yes. Something that actually works. Mm -hmm. And um, I was on a podcast with our fellow advocate, Kunle um, and Helen, um, a couple of days ago. And Kunle made a great point in that there are laws that exist, but they are so vague, That's you know, to problem. uphold the rights of a child. What does that mean? What are the human rights? Of it? It's so vague mm -hmm. that it's just left to a wide amount of in interpretation. So we also need the, the lawmakers to go back and actually make laws that are enforceable before you can even no, enforce. Very clear. Yes, well, Helen, would, would you well, want to give a last yeah. word before? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, my thoughts really is the fact that... Um, uh, how do I put this that it doesn't sound funny? Um, just, just, go, say just go for it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we really, at this point, really need to have a physical action. You know, we've been having actions against government this, government didn't do that. Nobody has really come out mm -hmm. and stood the ground for education. Mm -hmm. We need to come out, at least maybe go to the governor in a group mm -hmm. and let him know that we are tired of our children when i was in school if you were in a private school that means that you were so dull that you could not pass any federal <laughs> yeah, school exactly yeah. sure that that, that, was, that, that was where we were mm -hmm. now private schools whether you pass or you don't you're in there we need to go back mm -hmm. we really yeah, need to go back around. and i my personal opinion is that let us for the first time ever come together 
March for to education. the government office or uh, Ministry of Education, if not for anything, for the children who have died, mm -hmm. for the children who have died, mm -hmm. and go there and let them know our hearts. And then we leave it like that. Mm -hmm. And then we continue on the bunks and burner and pushing like we're doing as it is mm -hmm. now. Absolutely, I agree with you, Ellen. Absolutely, I agree with you. Thank you very, thank Good you very way much forward. for that, Ellen. So, we have Elijah up, and it's a very, very interesting topic. So, please, stay with us after the break.